The Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish. I wore it for seven days. If you'd like to know how long it lasted, stay tuned. Hi guys, I am now doing a new series on my channel and that is to try different nail polishes. My very first review will be with InstaDry from Sally Hansen. I used a color called Espresso, and I don't really think it looks that Espresso if you ask me. So I decided to pick that color because it's a family of colors that I like to wear. Also when I did this testing, I've been, I did use a base coat and a top coat, but I used three different products. I used a Sally Hansen nail base and top coat combination, so that was just purchasing one bottle. And then I used a more expensive brand, the Shea V line. I used their base coat, and then I used their top coat, which has been rated the number one top coat for many years now, and I have used it, I think I've used it probably for 12 years now. I could, I could definitely tell the difference between the two just by, you know, touching the uh, tops of my nails. The Shea V was just smoother, and the Sally Hansen was kind of a little bit more of a rough kind of uh, finish. But in the end, when all 10 nails dried, I couldn't tell the difference of which one had what top coat. And it seems as though the Sally Hansen has performed as well as the Shea V top coat, at least with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Now, different formulations are going to work with different nail polishes, so that may not be true. But in this particular case, once it was completely dry, I couldn't tell the difference and I got the same result. Um, and I did a mistake on this. I thought that I was supposed to use a base coat, two coats of this polish, and then a top coat, but you're not. You're actually only supposed to do one coat. I always do a lot of research, but unfortunately I didn't do too much research for this video. And if I had, I would know that this this nail polish has been marketed as a one coat 60 second polish i watched a lot of other reviews on youtube and what i found with those reviews is that pretty much everyone ended up using two coats so this is how i'm going to do this review uh, i'm going to show you the results with normal normal use where you do base coat two coats of nail color and top coat and then i am going to do one coat only. So in this unique case, this is going to be a two-part review. In the second part of this review, what if you only use one coat? The other reviewers ended up breaking down and using two coats of this polish. I'm not going to do that. The second part of this review is merely if you use one single coat of the Insta Dry nail polish. I'm also going to do this a little bit differently for the second part of the review because I bought Petal Pusher from Sally Hansen. That color is a sparkly pink and I wanted something iridescent so that I could see the difference of one coat of one of their iridescent nail polishes versus one coat of their matte nail polish to see if there's any kind of difference in wear that you'd see in one week. The thing about this polish, and I don't like how it's designed in this respect, the application process of this polish is really gloppy and it is so easy to use too much product. So you really have to be careful on how you apply this lacquer. I mean, look at this. So what you really, really need to do is constantly go from the edge to the point where you really don't have that much nail polish on the brush. Once it dries, 
it's a really hard um, finish uh, better than some other brands uh, but this is a full uh, one week of wear and I think it did still it did really well still pretty good but you can see a little bit of white edging but overall I'm very impressed with this product none of the polish peeled the next part of this video you're only going to see me wear one coat of each of these two colors five and five so let's see what happens Hi guys, I'm back. A whole week has passed and I've been wearing the Sally Hansen Insta Dry with only the one coat as they recommend. If you are in a pinch and you don't have the time, it works good. And this is also good for people that only will use one coat of nail polish anyways. So you might as well use a nail polish that is for one coat. So how did the Sally Hansen Insta Dry nail polish do after one generous coat? not so bad a little would come off at the tip and a little bit right here it had a little a little bit came off here and there and then the other thing i mentioned about it was that i was going to review the difference between the the plain matte nail polish and the iridescent shade and it turns out that i think the uh, iridescent shade holds up a little bit better than the matte shade but unfortunately they have fewer color options with that next week my review is going to be on china glaze nail polishes and i'm also going to review my five favorite colors that i like to wear these will be the five china glaze nail polishes i will be reviewing and i'll answer the question how long lasting are china glaze nail polishes they will be in the description of the video just like the sally hansen insta dry nail polishes i used you definitely can wear one coat and as far as insta dry how well it dries in my opinion the insta dry is definitely not a 60 second polish but does it dry faster than your average nail polish most definitely if you like the Sally Hansen review on the Insta Dry nail polish, hit that like button. And if you want to see more reviews on nail polishes, hit that subscribe button.